Hi folks, how you doing? It's James JT at the movies and today I just wanted to, uh, to take a moment just to say thank you so much for everybody's support. I actually missed this last week because we've been uh, up to our elbows in decorating the living room and the kitchen in our house. Um, but last week on Thursday the 28th uh, was my one year anniversary on YouTube um, of making movie related videos anyway that have been released publicly. Uh, I have my YouTube channel uh, active since I don't know 2013 14 and initially just used to post sort of like you know mobile phone recordings of uh, of my band or of maybe me singing at, at gigs and things like that uh, but decided um, last year that I wanted to have a go at talking about movies collecting you know obviously physical media reviewing films and just just talking uh, about my, my passion uh, for for film for cinema for collecting and I was really nervous to do it at first. It's something I've wanted to do for the longest time, and you know I've I've sort of grown up sort of what with YouTube, if you like, and 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 watched a lot of the people that are now considered to be the pros. Your you know your flick picks, your Chris Stuckman's and uh, Jeremy Johns, and you know nostalgia critic people like that. So I thought I would love to have a go at that, but never found the nerve um, to to actually do it. Anyway, I don't know what it was, but something snapped in me last year. Uh, and I decided that I'd have a go of it and uh, like I say late last January I recorded a bloody awful video where I reviewed uh, the Tommy Lee Jones Ashley Judd film Double Jeopardy it's one of my favourite films uh, it's very similar in plot and tone to The Fugitive which is one of my favourite films of all time and uh, I'd watched it and, and decided that I, I'd, I'd liked it enough to to make a video about it so I did that and uh, you know, it got a few views and um, a few few thumbs up, and a couple of people left some nice comments. But Don't. I got the bug for making YouTube videos and wanted to keep putting content out and improving my skills and um, you know, and sort of building my confidence with it. And and over the last twelve months, I, you know, I have gained well over a hundred and eighty subscribers. Thank you so much to each and every person that subscribed to my channel and left me any kind words of encouragement or actively got involved. Um, you know, with, with with film discussion and just just interacting with me, it, it really does humble me um, that that people are interested in, uh, in you know my thoughts and opinions, um, and and I feel really honoured and humbled to have been welcomed into the little film community uh, that that I've been been welcomed into. You know, people like uh, John uh, over at uh, Mondo Chilovic, Kalino Nine. Um, you know, as Carlos over at Eastwood for Life, Jeff at uh, One Hundred One Bronson, and you know, so many people have been been following the the channel, offering me kind words of support, and you know, giving me shout outs on their page. There's so many of you to mention. I don't want to sit here and do a thirty minute video where I just reel off everybody that's subscribed and interacted because we'll be here all day. But but really, um, guys, I'm, I'm so grateful for it. Um, I really, really, really am over the over the moon, and uh, you know I'm looking forward as we go into this year to to continue bringing you the sort of videos that you like to see. My aim is to to finish the 007 review series that I've been doing, and the plan was to get through that for the release of No Time to Die in April. As we now know, that's been pushed back to November, but I am still gonna keep to doing those reviews every 10 days or so like I've been doing at the moment. Uh, I quite enjoy sort of having that little bit of a bit of a deadline and a bit of an ongoing project. And I've got some more videos about touring through the collection for, for those who've been around for a while. You'll remember that when the DVD collection was upstairs, I took you through title by title everything that I've picked up. Uh, and everything that I owned and when it was all in genre sections and things like that but we never got to my blu-rays and I said that when I'd get this room together that I'd do the blu-rays well the blu-ray shelves that you can see just behind me there are actually full to busting and and down here and un underneath where you can't see on the camera I've got a few free shelves with the things that I've picked up on blu-ray and 4k recently and I'm waiting on delivery of some shelf extenders uh, from Ikea to come. Hopefully going to arrive tomorrow. I did get a message off them saying there might be a delay. So anyway, when they do arrive in the next few days, I'm going to do a video about obviously putting them together. Because uh, I put a post up on Instagram and a few people had, uh, had commented that they didn't know that they were either available or that they might pick some up. Because again, running out of space as we collectors do. Uh, but when they're there, I'm just going to slightly reorganise the Blu-rays and shift everything up a shelf and... 
sort of go from there and it'll give me a little bit more room to grow and then we'll, we'll worry about what to do when I fill that. But once I've done that, I'm then going to do a two-parter on showing you through the Blu-rays because I no longer keep the Blu-rays in genre. Uh, they're just in A to Z because I've probably only got maybe 700 Blu-rays or so. Um, as I say, you know, there's, there's probably... Well, there, there is. There's over two and a half thousand um, DVDs, uh, you know, in the, the shelves beside me here. So it's, um, you know, it's one of those things where I went, when I decided to organise this room, I decided not to keep them in genre because I thought there's there's so few of them. Like I had, you know, ten war films on Blu-ray or something like that. You know, silly things like that. So they're, they're just in A to Z. So I'm going to do a, you know, a part one and a, and a part two to that. So that's coming up. Um, myself and Laura, um, my, my lovely girlfriend who joins me on, on videos from time to time, have um, a bit of a, an idea for a series. And basically, you know, she, she, she loves a film, but she's, she's not seen anywhere near as many films as I have. And there's a lot of things that I want to introduce her to. Uh, and we thought it might be nice to do some vlogs together where we get her first time reactions and you know see how repeated viewings for myself hold up so that's something that we want to start doing going forward maybe do one of those videos a month I'm going to continue to do the the pickup videos and the unboxings and things like that um, as well uh, I've been chatting to a couple of folk um, about doing some collaborations uh, hopefully doing something upcoming with with John again over at Mondo Chilovic we're we're both very keen musicians um, uh, and I'm really sorry, buddy, that I've not been in touch. But like I say, it's just been absolutely manic round here recently. I've taken a week off work and then uh, I've worked ridiculously hard in decorating the, the lounge in the kitchen. So I've kind of been off grid, really. Um, but as well, Jordan over at Movie Worm, uh, I've seen some of the fantastic collaborations that he's done uh, with some of our, our peers here on YouTube. Uh, and me and him have talked about doing something. So just just brainstorming what would be a what would be a good topic to to have a natter about at the minute so jordan again i'm going to get back to you on that mate as well and then i've got a got a collaboration coming up with a good mate of mine who's actually a chap that i'm in a in a band with um and he and his brother have a podcast called going jack uh which is you know talking about um basically what they've been watching what they've been listening to what they've been getting up to to stop themselves from as they call it going jack during the lockdown which is a reference obviously to the the shining and uh, and jack nicholson's character but um myself and ruben from that podcast are going to do a video special probably about half an hour long or so on this channel where we're going to do a bit of a, a bit of a deep dive and a sort of a, a review on the, the animated series of Batman that came out in the 90s. We're, we're both in our late 20s and sort of grew up with that series. Um, and he, he'd re-watched some of it recently, and it's something that I know backwards. So so we said we might do like a half-hour special on, on that and talk about some of our favourite bits, and there's supposedly a revival coming, so we might uh, you know have a, have a natter about what we'd hope to see from that. So I've got lots of ideas and lots of things in the pipeline, but I really just wanted to take this video just to say thank you so much for all of your support and all of your um, encouragement um, as, as I've been making videos over the last 12 months. It's been fantastic to get to know uh, all of you and I, I'm loving doing this. I really am. It's really just brought me so much joy uh, getting to make these videos and like I say talking to, to everybody that I've, I've met on here and over on Instagram and Facebook and the various other platforms of social media. It's, it's brilliant and I'm, I'm really chuffed to bits to have been welcomed into the group. So thank you so much. As, as I mentioned earlier on in this, this video which has been a, a, a rant and a, a rambling if you will um, I'm, I'm at over 180 subscribers now I think 187, 188 when I, when I last looked and, and thank you so much again for that it, it just blows my mind as that, it really does but when I reach 200 uh, I wanted to, uh, so many of, of my you know my fellow uploaders and peers have done, I wanted to give a little bit of something back to the community. And when I reach 200 subscribers, um, I am going to do a, like a competition giveaway type thing. Um, so I've, got, I've already bought the, the prize for that, uh, possibly a bit preemptive, but uh, I got a good deal on it. And it was a, it was a 4K title uh, that I'm going to be giving away. Hopefully when I, when I do get to 200 subscribers, I'll do a video announcing what, what that little competition slash giveaway is uh, and what the rules are for entering. So that's really been it, guys. I just wanted to take that time, like I say, to say thank you, uh, to let you know that I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm going to continue to 
bring you the videos uh, that you've you know you've liked and you've shown me support for as well. And just to like I say, really say thank you so much again for your support because without you guys, there's there's no channel. Um, and absolutely just over the moon with with how the last 12 months has gone here on youtube so thank you so much if you have liked this video drop me a thumbs up leave us a comment down below say hello let's have a let's have a natter and a bit of a bit of a catch up if you are new here and this is the first time you, you find in my channel uh i collect physical media dvds blu-rays 4ks the occasional vhs and laser disc too um i'm all about reviewing films doing unboxings dvd and blu-ray hauls and just talking about my love for film and cinema in general if that sounds like it's your cup of tea then hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and then that way you're the first person to be notified whenever i do upload a video and above all else guys whilst we're in these uh, very insane and troubling times that we find ourselves in please continue to stay safe take very good care of yourselves and i look forward to seeing you again soon cheers